May the fourth be with you. What's up, guys? Happy May the 4th. It's Star Wars Day, and today I have like a little bit of a Star Wars spectacular for you. Let's get started. Hey, guys, if you're new here, my name's James, and this is DC Animal Pops. Typically, we open uh, mystery boxes, but today we're going to go over some Star Wars Pops that I just picked up that I've collected over a period of time, and we'll see which ones are my favorite, which ones are the most expensive or valuable that I have, and a few other little things. So first, what I want to go through is, um, you've all seen these concept series uh, pops. I was holding off and holding off and holding off, and I couldn't hold off any longer, and I thought, how about May the 4th? You know, May the 4th be with you, Star Wars Day. I was in, uh, box lunch and there they were so um, without further ado let's just take a look at these really quick so these are the concept series Ralph McQuarrie who is the uh, concept artist for Star Wars for George Lucas well um, that's this is a shout out to him this is the Darth Vader concept series whoop almost dropped him don't want to do that I thought you know first when I looked at these originally I was like ah, they're okay but knowing that they're a concept series, that these came basically from his artwork of what he thought C-3PO would look like, right? I thought that was the coolest thing, all right? So I went and I picked these up, got the whole line. Obviously, there's more to it. Concept series Star Killer, which is Luke Skywalker, but Luke Star Killer, the 2020 Galactic convention. I have that one up there. And then there's this crazy looking old Yoda. You know, look how uh, the art series on that was supposed to look. So I picked those up. Um, I've had them sitting in this bag for about a month. I was like, yeah, what better time to unveil these? And most people have seen these. They've been sitting around for quite a while. They've been, they've been out for a little while now. Um, but I thought that was a really good pickup. All right, next thing, um, I ordered this, I pre-ordered this a long time ago, and um, it finally came in, and I thought, wow, what a great time. But it's Emperor Palpatine. Okay, this is after he comes back, spoiler alert, comes back in the, the, the final movie, and um, we learn quite a bit on where he went and how he came back. But this one's really cool. He's got his, uh, you know, Where's that blue lightning that you always see? Very cool. He's an excellent, excellent villain. Star Wars villain. Now, if you're not into Star Wars, I get it. Not everybody's into Star Wars. For me, it started when I was uh, pretty young. I think I was 11 or 12. Uh, Star Wars premiered in San Francisco, and uh, I went with my brothers. Uh, we went in line. There's pictures, there's these iconic pictures of people waiting in line all the way around the block. I was in that line all the way around the block. So uh, back then we called it Star Wars, not a new hope. And um, I was kind of hooked from there. Star Wars uh, was a big part of my childhood. And um, recently I got into Clone Wars. Clone Wars, I finished it um, and I, I'm working on Rebels now. If you're not into Star Wars, Clone Wars is a great place to uh, look. Okay, so this next one, you've seen her. She came out in Mandalorian, if you've seen Mandalorian. But, and she was cool. It was like, oh man, good character. Ahsoka, great character. But if you watch the Clone Wars, she is huge in that. And in my opinion, it's more about Ahsoka's relationship with Anakin Skywalker and uh, um, the Jedi Temple than it is anything else. Um, so um, I'm gonna show you what I have so far, but I went and I picked up this Ahsoka right here. Um, Cause I'm trying to collect as many Ahsokas as I can, all right? There's only a few out there, really. So right now I have um, the different different levels of Ahsoka, all right? So you have um, Clone Wars, uh, different different versions of her. Okay, the action pose this is a hot one right now. Number 272, number 409. This is uh, another really killer one. And I have something coming up here in a minute. I'll show you that. It's pretty amazing. And then I got this one. So definitely my favorite character. Ahsoka is um, 
such a dynamic character on the show. And now, in Mandalorian, she shows up all these years later, grown up, and uh, now she's going to have her own special. So you're going to see her own uh, story. All right. So be bef before we get into this last one, I wanted to show you a couple of the other pops that I have, Star Wars pops that um, I think are amazing. That I pulled, well, I didn't pull this one, um, but this one you may have seen pop up on Amazon. It's the Amazon exclusive Qui-Gon Jinn. I was lucky enough, it popped up on my phone. Hey, it's available. Boom. Bought it really quick. Um, and I was able to get this. The Obi-Wan Kenobi, I couldn't pull the trigger fast enough on that one. That one got away from me, so I'll have to chase that one down. But that's the Amazon exclusive Qui-Gon Jinn from Tatooine. Very cool pop. And then you may have seen recently, um, very recently, I picked up this Jango Fett. Very cool pop. And then from uh, Pops uh, Mystery Boxes that I, I pulled recently, um, I pulled this Darth Revan, which is a uh, Star Wars video game character. Very cool. This pop is definitely on the rise, as all almost all Star Wars pops. There are certain Star Wars pops that you can get for like three bucks. And then you can get like characters like Ahsoka, which are on the rise. Those are the pops you want to get. But this Darth Revan, I pulled out of a Gem Pops mystery box alongside this OG Lando Calrissian, which is definitely protected by a hard stack and super cool, right? But my favorite that I pulled from a mystery box, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, this is my top grail. Um, it's Captain Rex, and he is a huge part of the Clone Wars. He is uh, a clone who is in charge of a whole set of other clones, and he's really close with um, Anakin Skywalker, and he's just an awesome Star Wars character. That pop right there is going for over $300. All right, so let's get into this last one. This last one, um, my son bought me. I was uh, online, and I was... I, I was telling him, man, this is like my personal grail. This is my Star Wars grail. There's many grails to achieve, but since this is my favorite character right now, and this is like the, one of the most sought after pops of this character, he turned around and bought it for me. I mean, you can't, you can't get better than that. The kids these days, man, he's not really a kid. He's, he's an adult. But he... Um, I guess we started him on, on uh, his Star Wars love, and he has surpassed me and most of my family. This is a big Star Wars family. Let me show you what he got. This is my personal grill. I haven't even gotten into it yet. I really want to get into this. Um, lots of bubble wrap, as it should be. This one right here is going to be my new um, grail. All right, so I gotta get a hard stack for it. <laughs> Look at that. It's Ahsoka. It's the LA Comic Con Ahsoka Glows in the Dark Hollow from Star Wars Rebels. It is absolutely minty from what I can tell. And this is a awesome pop. This one is going to sit pretty in my collection. So, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four Ahsoka Pops now, and this is the top of the pile, right? Look at that. I love it. She's going to go on a hard stack. i got to get the hard stack, but yes. All right, guys. Uh, no, no, I know not everybody's into Star Wars. It's a big day, though, May the 4th. Uh, may the 4th be with you. It's Star Wars Day. If you do like Star Wars, even if you don't, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, be good, be well, and thanks for watching.